Hi everybody, welcome to Taronga TV. My name's Bobby Joe. I'm a keeper here at Taronga Western Plains Zoo and I get to work with these really tall beauties that are next to me right now. So here at Taronga Western Plains Zoo, we have the biggest breeding herd of giraffe in Australasia. This female next to me is Asmara and she is a granddaughter of one of our oldest giraffe who's turning 31 this year. And we have had close to 50 giraffe born at the zoo, which creates a really nice little um, insurance policy for giraffe, which are actually threatened in the wild. So our herd is a matriarchal society. It's mostly run by females. Asmara here is our most dominant female, followed closely by Ntombi, who's next to me, who's an import from Auckland Zoo, um, to bring out a new uh, bloodline for our herd. And we have a new breeding bull here as well, and his name's Mtoto. So a giraffe has a 45 centimetre long tongue. And Tommy's going to show me just how long that is. Oh. <laughs> and some unique features of them are they are the world's tallest mammal. They also have what we call um, ossicones on their head. So there's those bone-like features just here. You can see Asmara has a, actually has a broken one, but she has three ossicones and one is just here in the middle of her head as well. Their diet mostly consists of loose and hay. We also give them carrots. Carrots are a real treat, so it's kind of like giving giraffe chocolate. We use their carrots, she's helping herself now. We use our carrots for training and for our, our wonderful guests to meet them on a daily basis. So it might be hard to believe, but giraffe are actually threatened in the wild. There is a silent extinction happening with giraffe. At the moment, current numbers are suggesting there's around 110,000 left. I can't imagine an Africa without her giraffe. And the biggest threats to these guys in the wild are habitat, fragmented habitat, which is basically from human agriculture and also the growth of human population um, in African countries. They also get um, caught up in a bit of civil war that's happening with countries in Africa. And also they are poached for bushmeat. Now things we can do to help the giraffe uh, is by visiting the zoo, coming and supporting our wonderful programs that we, that we help with. And one of them is the Northern Rangelands Trust, which, which operates out of Kenya. And you can actually find a very unique species of giraffe in northern Kenya called the reticulated giraffe. We can't wait to welcome you again and feel free to come on down and uh, talk to us about giraffe um, and we'd love to see you as passionate as we are about them.